Hi everyone, welcome back to Abra Knowledge Channel. This is the follow-up video to my previous video, which is running in my backend. Uh, so on the three tools which we are going to study, one is called Minitab, one is called Excel, another one is called Power BI. So the same subject, Pareto, we are going to discuss. As I promised in the previous video, I'm going to explore more in detail. Let's see how it goes. So this is the Pareto. I picked up the same topic which I covered in Pareto topic itself and the previous video on, on these three comparative tools. So this is the uh, defects category and uh, total defects we have 95. And these are all the secondary causes or secondary group actually. So in this one, you can see that scratch and display is one cause. And uh, that is associated with the laptop. The label of this is not good. That is associated with the laptop and power cable and so on. And then what we have to do, how we have to do in many uh, no, Excel is we have to whatever the sum value we get it. And that sum value, we need to find out the individual contribution percentage. So that individual contribution percentage, very simple, C2 divided by this thing. And then from there, we will need to do all this. So let me do one thing. I will delete everything. Okay. And then I will create this formula. So for example, this is these three columns we have, that is a known columns we have. And now we are going to find out how to do the Pareto. So the first thing, first and fundamental, very important rule is the data has to be in descending order. Okay. And that is very, very critical thing, which when you're doing in Excel, when you're doing in a, a PowerPoint, uh, sorry, Power BI, or when you're doing in Minitab, you don't need to do. So it, the tools it, itself will take care. But in Excel, you have to be particular and the data sorting has to be descending order. So let's see how it goes. So 19, this is the C2 column divided by 95. That 95 need to be applied all across all, right? So there is something called dollar symbol we can apply. That means that constant value should be applied across all. So for example, when I copy paste this one, so the formula will not get impacted. See, the formula is being there, applied all. If I don't use this uh, dollar, what will happen? This will give an error. Let, let's see what's that error. Or the, the value will not be accurate. So let's see. So I will delete everything. I will just go here, uh, 19 divided by 95. And then I'm trying to scroll it, scroll it down, okay? So you can see this is the error we get it. How to get rid of it? Simple. So first you declare that there's a constant value. How to do that? Dollar symbol. So you can just copy and paste across the board. So now it is done. So the next thing, cumulative one. So how much uh, percentage we want? To, because the Pareto concept goes with 80-20 principle, right? So you can just enter this one. And then you can find that 16 plus the previous value sorry plus the previous value is 20 so you can do that have you noticed that i have not added anything uh, manually so i'm just calling by address so that's the way we need to do it and then so 20 percent said now that is all done so the pareto these two columns we have to do so remember the first thing is descending order is very important whatever the issue you need to stack with the descending order Next one is the formula, simple formula, division formula. Next one is just calling that value and then adding up these two and then it goes on and on. So now this is done. So you can go and insert uh, the uh, chart and in the chart, this is the chart bar chart you can do. And this is a trend line chart you can do. Automatically it gives. So this is the number and this is the uh, percentage and all that. That's how you need to do it in uh, you know Excel version. Let's see how we can do it in the mini tab version. So the same data. So you remember that uh, only I'm going to copy paste only these three columns. I'm not going to copy the formula. The formula, everything in build with the mini tab. You don't need to apply anything. See, in the Excel, I have applied the formula, right? I divided and then I just also find out the cumulative percentage. Here, no, not, it's not required, right? Maybe I can use the word group so that that will be the right word. Okay, I, you don't need to do anything. All you need to do is, for example, go to start and go, go to quality tools. In the quality tool, the second one is called Pareto. Click on that. 
So one is defect or attribute data. What is defect? So defect itself. So uh, defect. And what is the frequency? Fre frequency is nothing but number, quantity, right? And then, uh, so do you want to combine or having the same? So I'll say do not combine. Have everything, right? Because we have only uh, 12, uh, 12 categories, right? So do not combine. So after 95, it will give others. It will tie up all these things. So I don't want to combine. So do not combine. You can give options. In the options, you can say what is uh, in the x-axis defect, and another one is in the y-axis quantity. And this is a Pareto for learning. Okay, and then I will give okay. The chart has been drawn up now. So beautiful chart has come, right? So you can just uh, see here. And if you wanted to add a grid lines, for example, the reference line you wanted to add. Uh, y reference line is 80 and if you wanted to add you can still do that right so this 80 has been drawn up and this is the area you need to focus right and then this is this is super easy and, and then what i will also will do is i will add one more reference line on the y axis 80 percentage right okay so anyway, so only one line is enough. Okay, so this is how we can we can do that. Maybe I will just delete this uh, one. I thought that the axis is same, so uh, in this case uh, it is no issues. One second, I will just delete this uh, one. Yeah. So now eighty percent is done. So this is how the normal Pareto. Pareto is this is the issues and quantity and then the trend line. And beautifully it comes. So I didn't calculate anything. It, it gives precisely 18, 19 percentage, 1, 19.1. You can see here 19 it gives even more precisely. Maybe we can ask for, sorry, we can ask for the decimal. Okay. And uh, then 15, 35. 15, uh, the contribution of error is 16. And cumulative is 36. I think, I think it's the round of uh, 1. So like this, it goes maybe, uh, okay, I, I got the issue. Here 19 is there, here 9, uh, 18 is there, that's the issue. So what we can do is we can make it to 19 so that uh, we can easily make that uh, value. So I'm just going with the fresh air, no issues. You can see here 19, 20 uh, is the percentage, cumulative is 20 and 15, 15.8 precisely. We can see whether 15.8, so, I think the value will change, right? 95, yes. So again, uh, so all these value, whatever the value uh, you, you have it. So we are going to attack up to 80 percentage, maybe 88 percentage you can do. Up to keyboard, uh, this thing you can take it. So exactly here also you can easily find it out. So this is how we, let's say in many tab, you wanted to drill, uh, drill down, you wanted to find out grouping and all that, that's possible. You can give control E, you can go back to the previous window. And that variable, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do Y group, right? So default one graph, same ordering, or one group per graph, or one group, uh, you can have any of fashion. So I will just default, I will use it. And, uh, and let's see how it goes. So it again, laptop, it has given the category. And then the laptop and power cable, it has given the category. These are all the category. Another one is uh, packaging, this is the category. Power cable, this is a category. It has come very, very beautifully. So like this, we can easily drop in many tabs. So now we have learned Excel. Now another one is in the mini tab. In the mini tab, both the things. With the simple uh, Pareto and with the category uh, variable Pareto. How to do? Just go back here. And by variable, you can add any number of variable. Let's say you wanted to have more variables, you can add it. So that's how you, you need to do that okay and uh, let's see how we can do it in power bi so third and final tool so this in the power bi so for the benefit of all of you i will just fetch the file one more time go here and import the data from excel and uh, this is the power bi uh, file which separato which i'm fetching from here and uh, it is uh, it says that it is fetching the information Okay, and this is, I think the file has come. All I need to do is I need to confirm that Pareto is the tab 
because you can have a multiple tab also as well parrot to the tab load the data so what it is happening here it is loading the data in the back end so apply changes yes so it's loading the data to model and it's a 15 kb file so the data has been loaded so where the data will be there there are three tabs you will find it one is called report all the dashboard will come here another one is called data your raw data will be here another one is called model so this report data and then model on the right hand side you have three things one is called filter one is called visuals in the visualizations only we're going to pick up the chart and then the pareto the dynamics whatever the dynamics will be here so we'll talk about those things okay and now i will go back to here first thing is cumulative i have already calculated in excel right so i don't want that submissive again what you need to do is this submissive that addition i wanted to remove cumulative you can put it like uh, already done so i will put go to advance in the advance you have these options one is called sum this is in the submissive sum uh, none max average distinct count min count so i will give none because it is already done cumulative percentage is already done or if you wanted to have you can still have it for example if you still wanted to have a sum you can have it right i i will say it's not required another category another category contribution percentage contribution percentage maybe we can have so it will give like how much per, per, you know in terms of percentage it will have so i'm going to retain it priority i don't want so priority i will say uh, no need to sum up because each priority is different right priority one priority two priority three and all that so i'm going to do none so that first thing what i have done is i have just sanitized the data so now only two fields are there which is submissive for example contribution it is uh, it is doing some value and quantity is doing some value all other fields are normal field no formula nothing if you would like to add in the in my case all the fields are already there if you would like to fetch any other field you can do this is the first thing you need to do first you just check default it will submissive any variables will be submissive like uh, you know these symbols will be there all you need to do is you need to change it how to do very very simple uh, for example you need to select here and cumulative and then all you need to go go to advance in the advance you will find here the loss you will find here data uh, some none and all that so this is how you need to do that is the first step next is step data so all your data will be here right so this data uh, again this has been converted everything into decimals uh, but you remember that in the excel i had in the the percentage for example 20 percentage and 16 percentage now it has come uh, in the decimal so all i have to do is select here okay and this one instead of general i'm gonna give percentage so all is being converted into percentage similarly i do for cumulative also as well uh, so cumulative percentage is a decimal fashion how much decimal we want we want we can control it and uh, general i will say percentage again this also has been converted into percentage priority number i'm going to keep it the same so all these uh, the sanity check is done next one i am going to create a report first what i did i just ensured all formulae is correct next one is the data report just check the look for the sanity and everything is okay the last and final step is I'm going to add and create a fascinating chart for you. Okay. More importantly, what is very, very important. These two are very, very important. Build visual with your data, select and drop for, uh, this is how you need to do. Select and drag fields from the fields. This is the fields, uh, pan onto report canvas. This is a report canvas, right? So all you have to do is first thing is, uh, let's say we want the defect reasons right so defect reasons is being put it down here okay okay i think it is copied two times so i'm going to delete this uh, one okay so defect reasons being copied maybe we can just check which which chart we want let's say uh, one of the fascinating chart which i like is ribbon chart very nice chart so i will select ribbon 
uh, in the ribbon chart defect is there and that quantity let me add the quantity this is how it has uh, given so in the ribbon chart uh, so this is the quantity and all that and then what i will add i will add something called secondary reason now it becomes even more interesting so in this case this is what i was trying to explain in my previous video so all the category laptop anything associated with the laptop it has been categorized anything associated with the cable power cable it has been associated so all these like a ribbon fashion it gives a segregation for example keyboard alphabet misaligned 11 escape four issues escape uh, and uh, delete uh, not working keyboard not working it has been split so it is just split the data so let's say you want percentage also as well you can still do that so just click here it also gives a percentage and all that so this is how we need to do it so the same thing this is called ribbon chart the next chart uh, which is my favorite called decomposition chart decomposition tree very very powerful that is what it is running in the back also as well let's say this chart okay so 94 is the overall number of issues. I wanted to know the split. There we go. So the split in terms of defect uh, reason or secondary reason. Let's say def uh, secondary reasons. So the secondary reason are laptop, laptop and power and this is one. Further plus, it also gives like a laptop. Let's say th which are all the defects we have. So in this case, scratch and display and all that. Again, if you want any other community percentage, still you can do that. Right. So, for example, if you want cumulative reasons, for example, let's say cumulative percentage. Again, you can do that. For example, cumulative percentage, how much it is, and and so on. So easily we can do that. So in everywhere you will be able to find very very easy. So from it's like it is like uh, decomposition is bigger picture, and then subcategory, then even secondary category, and then number and all that. You can play around with this and then also i wanted to split by let's say priority right let's say i wanted to start one more report maybe this is one report okay and i wanted to start one more report uh, maybe what you can do is you can show as i mean you can also have this as one report let's say i'm just saving this uh, data so in this case let's just simply i will delete i will create one more report so one more report, I will keep it uh, again, decompositions one. Okay, and in this case, this is how it will, will come. This is the icon of it. And then first is defect reason. So, and after that, so what we need, I mean, quantity. Again, it has uh, come. And then we want the priority. Okay, we want this straight away for the priority, okay. Uh, maybe I will delete uh, the defect reason because we are going to make, make from the priority spec, right? So priority, okay. From the priority, what is that? What is the defect reasons, right? And what is the quantity? It's loading up. Okay, again, you can see here, quantity, priority, number one and two, three. And one has got uh, priority number one, 47 line items are there, 36 uh, priority number two, three. Further, we can category by defect. So in the priority one, we're going to work on scratch and display, crack, cracks and keyboard and all that. Let's see where these things are coming from. Let's say I wanted to make the secondary cause. Again, you can drag down. So secondary cause in the laptop and uh, and so on. So again, the same thing, you can easily do that. Again, when you click it, automatically the uh, the chart happens. So all you need to do is you need to click. So automatically it comes down. Let's say the percentage contribution percentage also I wanted to make. So you can easily do that. So let's say this is what the contribution percentage, you can easily do that. Let's say this is the one. Easily you can make it. And this is how we can make, there is something called decomposition chart. Let's see waterfall chart also is very interesting. Let's say this one. So this is very interesting, right? So this is increment and how much issues are there with respect to uh, priority one and all that. Let's say I'm gonna remove the priority. These are all the one which I'm gonna work on priority, priority number two and priority number three. Let's say I don't want the priority, then it comes, let's say I want only defect and no, I, I want the quantity, but I don't want the priority. So still this is the one. So the, 
and this goes like uh, defect reason quantity and all that and again uh, secondary reason is not required let's say so this is again the beautiful chart has come so cumulative percentage is not required uh, you can still manage with this so this is the one and uh, maybe we can put like the secondary reasons and all that uh, so this is how you can do um, we can bring more and more charts uh, easily so the one which we went through is decomposition and waterfalls the last we can see ribbon chart ribbon chart also we saw so for example quickly so we can stack the data uh, like ribbon fashions and all that let's say want uh, by priority you can still do that we still we can we will be able to accommodate right and if you want any other if you wanted to remove the priority you wanted to add uh, something else for example contribution percentage still you will be able to do, do that so this is how we can do that so just uh, uh, let's quickly recap the first thing what we saw in the excel version in the excel version three columns were there first is defect and quantity and uh, the cumulative percentage right i mean uh, the quantity and secondary reason and quantity this is what we saw in the excel versions right defects and uh, grouping and then quantity and then we went ahead and created the formula right so this is uh, three rules we saw first thing is data has to be descending next we need to create this formula uh, quantity divided by some the overall submissive value and then individual percentage you need to do so this is one step and then you can find that insert and pick up the graph and all that and then many times super fast really really fast let's say we, we want only the normal uh, one the frequency i mean normal pareto we can easily do that right so this is how we got then we went to power bi because power bi provides multiple charts but for the benefit of you i just taken only the charts of three charts i've taken but uh, it's not limited to it you can also go for you know smart narrative uh, there is artificial intelligence you can just uh, do give a complete summary to you and uh, and i think i will just remove few of the points uh, so it will give some nice summary to you and all that uh, let's say quantity and all that so this is lot many charts are there and you can pick up as per your requirement and uh, and i hope you enjoy this video i will be making more and more on the cookbook side from these two side at uh, these three uh, analytics tools so that uh, you, know, you can enhance your you know enhance and upskill yourself and please do like share subscribe and channel please stay tuned for the upcoming video till then take very good care of yourself